Nuisance ordinances are fines sent to homeowners or individuals that call the police a multitude of times. Law enforcement says these are typically given to people who have alarm systems that chronically beep and have called the police on a number of occasions. But the same thing is happening when a victim of a crime has to call multiple times to report abuse. News 5 State House reporter Morgan Trout learned this, this is happening right here in Northeast Ohio, and she brings us both sides of the argument. The Cleveland Police Department reports increasing 911 domestic violence calls with 40 calls on just one day. But after police leave a scene, some victims are finding out they owe hundreds of dollars to the city. Charging people for these services certainly discourages them from making that call. Director of the Begun Center for Violence Prevention Dan Flannery says victims of crimes are already hesitant to call police, so issuing fines may make some people less inclined to seek help. But Sergeant Betsy Smith with the National Police Association says survivors can't use 911 as a referee to oversee fights. Domestic violence victims also have a responsibility to help take care of themselves. Documents obtained by News 5 show that at least four cities in Cuyahoga County have charged survivors of domestic abuse money for the police response to their call. It's done through nuisance ordinances, which penalize individuals who repeatedly call 911. We don't want uh, a tragedy to occur where someone fails to call for help because of these potential concerns and issues. A new bill is aiming to stop the debate. Just filed by Toledo Democrat Representative Lisa Sobecki, the legislation would prohibit a local government or law enforcement agency from requiring reimbursement for the cost of an emergency response for sexual or domestic violence victims. Sergeant Smith says municipalities are the ones charging, but some do find these ordinances necessary. You keep calling 911 and the police keep showing up and you refuse to press charges, now this is a problem. She also says that these fines can encourage people to actually get help and press charges. Some police officers have disagreed with her sentiment, saying that they never want to do this. And like Flannery, they believe that this is a loophole that needs to be closed. We have a responsibility as a community, as first social responders, to be available and to be responsive. This bill is brand new, so it is not assigned to a committee. At the State House, Morgan Trow, News 5. Our thanks to Morgan for that. And 38% of women and 33% of men in Ohio experience physical violence, intimate partner rape, and or stalking from an intimate partner in their lifetime. In 2019, there were more than 76,000 law enforcement calls for domestic violence incidents. Many other incidents went unreported. Now, in Ohio, when responding to domestic violence incidents, law enforcement is required to confiscate firearms if they have been used to threaten or harm victims. Now, if you need help getting out of an abusive relationship, there is a resource that can help you call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. That number is now on your screen. It's 1-800-799-SAFE. You can also text the word START to 88788 to get help.